Today, we are going to areas of Metro Manila that I'm not familiar with. Hi guys, we're here at Casa Memorial and we're looking around. There's a little resting area here where people can eat and exercise and do all kinds of things. And I have my royal true orange. In the recreation area at Quezon Memorial, my friend and I found some chess sets and were surprised that they were fully intact. There was a playground, a zen rock arrangement for foot massages, some vendors selling cacti and succulents, and some street food. And behind the trees was the Quezon Memorial. We were in awe at its sheer grandeur. Constructed in 1952, the monument houses the remains of the Philippine president and his wife. It was designated as a national shrine in 1978. At the base of the shrine is the museum which holds a collection of relics and memorabilia related to the former president. Its outer walls are adorned with bar-reliefs of events in Quezon's life as well as those of the countries during American occupation. Our next stop is the University of the Philippines in Diliman, Quezon City. As we entered the campus, we saw the most iconic symbol of the university, the oblation sculpture. This bronze replica by sculptor Guillermo Tolentino symbolizes the selfless offering of oneself to his country. The original sculpture made of concrete is kept in the main library. Hi guys, we're here at the University of the Philippines and we're gonna check out the grounds. We found ourselves in front of Quezon Hall, the seat of administration of the UP system. Designed by Juan Nakpil, the first national artist for architecture, this building is classified as eclectic architecture, but it clearly shows Art Deco influences. Founded by the Americans in 1908, the University of the Philippines is comprised of 15 campuses across the country. The original buildings of the university were destroyed during the Battle of Manila in 1945. UP Diliman is the largest among 15 constituent universities with the most degree-granting units, undergraduates, and faculty. On the way out, we passed by UP Teachers Village where many faculty reside. So we got some bread from the cafeteria of UP, sugar-coated bread, and it has cheese inside. We then decided to go to Marikina because it was close to the UP campus. Marikina is the footwear capital of the Philippines. We decided to check out the Marikina Riverbank Center, home of the largest pair of shoes in the world. This mall is also home to the Philippine Science Centrum, a Japanese home goods store, and the Philippine Voice Academy. It started pouring and we decided to get some lunch at Dulcelin, but before that, we passed by Masagana Street, which is a recent development with many new restaurants. We made it right on time for their lunch special. And I ordered kare kare bagnet chips. This is the bagnet. It's fried pork belly. And it came with some nuts on the side and some kare kare sauce with vegetables and some bagoong. That's a fermented shrimp paste. My order also came with iced tea. And it's only 199 pesos. The fermented shrimp, the pagoong, is really good with the kare kare sauce. When you eat the bagnet, this is really fried and crispy. It's kind of hard to chew. I just discovered that the kare kare also came with pieces of tripe. So it doesn't have um, any beef meat, but it does have the vegetables and the tripe. 
So one thing I noticed is that the bagnet, since it's a cured pork, it's kind of salty. And I think combining it with the kare kare sauce makes it better. But otherwise, the combination is really, really good. Our next stop was the Nino Yakino Parks and Wildlife Center. Opened in 1954, this 22.7 hectare zoological and botanical garden is home to several indigenous plants and animals such as the Philippine deer, crab-eating macaques, water monitors, and Philippine hawk eagle. It also serves as a temporary shelter for abandoned, retrieved, sick, and injured wild animals. A man-made lake, flanked by a bridge and several huts, serve as the centerpiece of this park. We then went back to Dulceline to get my all-time favorite mango tour. We passed through the cities of San Juan and Mandaluyong, where I spent my childhood. And just like that, it was time for dinner. We decided to eat dinner at Co-op. It's a quaint coffee shop and restaurant with a gift shop located in San Juan, Metro Manila. friend ordered alio e olio. It has spaghetti with olives, garlic, and some sardines. I ordered chicken pesto with garlic bread. I also ordered a strawberry lemonade. So overall, we thought that the food was okay. But what's even more interesting is their bathroom. If you like this video, make sure to hit that like button below, share it with your friends, and be sure to subscribe because I post new videos every week. Thank you so much for watching!